Now at six, a massive raid in Sandusky lands more than 100 people in federal custody. The target, a popular landscaping and garden company in the middle of an immigration investigation. News 5's Tara Molina has spent this day there gathering the latest information. Tara, this is just part of a growing national crackdown. Yes, a crackdown on companies hiring people known to be in the country illegally. And because investigators know workers here at Corsos were using social security numbers of dead people, criminal charges are expected for both identity theft and tax evasion. Surrounding this field, about 100 law enforcement officers arrested 114 workers, both here and here. Corso's flower and garden centers, commercial and wholesale locations. You're looking at photos shared by Associated Press photographers of one of the largest stings in this area in years. But the investigation started about nine months ago when Border Patrol arrested a woman who had given stolen identity documents to people applying for jobs while in the country illegally. That arrest led investigators here to Sandusky, where after looking into 313 Corso's employees closely, they found 123 were suspicious. Using social security numbers belonging to dead people, and according to investigators, nearly all committing tax fraud. But this, a piece of a larger part. The Trump administration's crackdown on illegal immigration and companies hiring people who are in the country illegally. Immigration officials now auditing many more companies the way they did with Corsos from 1,360 last year to 2,282 this year. The individuals involved, whether companies or individuals, have to understand that if they are employing illegal, illegal aliens to profit off the labor of those people, that the United States Attorney's Office is committed to prosecuting them to the fullest extent of the law. And still no comment from Corsos tonight as they are currently under investigation too. We'll follow up on that investigation. Reporting in Erie County, I'm Tara Molina, News 5.